September is the season and you my friend are ready to fly hopefully to Canada and it's time to pack your bags now so today I'm going to give you some insights on how to pack and what things to take and what things are necessary and what things not to take so let's begin <laughs> Number 1. Clothes. Pack clothes according to the season of the country where you're going to. For clothes, pack whatever you want to wear like going for going to school, for going to college or going outside hanging around with friends. Whatever you wear daily, just pack all of it. And most importantly, do not forget to pack your formal attire. You might think you might not need the formal attire right away, but you never know. If you're in a college or university, you might have presentations which require you to like dress up formally. So don't forget to pack your formal attire. Next up is shoes. Pack different types of shoes. Pack one sports shoes, like one casual sneaker shoes. And again, most importantly, don't forget to pack your dress shoes. For the same reasons, you might have a job interview, or if not, you have presentations that you have to give in college and university. And you require to dress up in a professional way. So dress shoes and dress shirts, and you are good to go. Third, and your parents' most favorite, food and utensils. <laughs> For utensils, you will need a pan, a pressure cooker, and a pot. That's that's about it. And you don't necessarily have to buy all of these and pack all of these in your bag because I know it takes up a lot of space. And I say that because utensils are not that expensive in a foreign country. So if you want if you want to pack something else and save on that space, you can kind of avoid packing your pan and your pot. Maybe pack a pressure cooker. Depends. And another thing you can do is. If you're traveling with a friend and you know you're going to stay with that person or if you know who you're going to stay with, just distribute the utensils among your friends. Say you carry a pan, you carry a pressure cooker so that each one of you doesn't carry all of the utensils and you have extra utensils when you reach. Pool together your resources. Think about that. In terms of food, pack 10 to 15 packs of these. These are ready to eat veggies. You don't require many of these. It's just only for the initial days when you are setting up, you are getting to know your surroundings. It is good to have ready to eat food, one less thing to worry about so you can concentrate on finding your way, getting used to it, getting to know people around. And one other thing that you can also keep in mind is don't stuff up on spices or masalas. Bring maybe one or two packets of each kind of masala or your spices because to be honest, any anywhere you go you get Indian masalas or Indian spices if you're looking for specific Indian spices. otherwise all your spices all your like condiments and everything you can get all around the world so pack maybe a few for the initial days next up is everyone's favorite electronics and to be honest with you carry everything that you need if you require a laptop carry a laptop you require a phone your ipad whatever you require just carry it don't forget to carry enough of these converters for your pins if you're coming from a different country really helpful and last but not the least carry all your paperwork and by paperwork I mean all your immigration forms or your landing forms your passport your college admission certificate or your col college admission letter offer letter your passport and if possible also try to carry your college or your university mark sheets and records if not the original at least a photocopy and if you drive do carry your original driving license because most of the countries where you go to you can exchange your home country license with that country's license without giving an additional exam which is really helpful and your driving license is also a universally accepted ID so you can use that so that you don't have to carry around your passport everywhere and what I would suggest is make photocopy of all your documents maybe make like three or four sets of each and keep one set in each of the bags you carry and that's about it from my side for now if you have any other questions, do let me know in the comment section below or you can ask me questions on my Twitter or my Facebook. I'll be happy to answer for you. And if you haven't watched already and you're coming to Canada, don't forget to watch the video in the description below which gives you tips on what to do after you land in Canada. Other than that, pack your bags and get ready and all the best for your future endeavors. I'll see you next time.